know you old when your kids got reading glasses on. You know, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I had to say. One more time with Matt Torrey. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep the show going. Um, uh, the next guy I say is very funny. Got a nice round of applause for Aaron Foster. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Foster. <laughs> Not the black shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, first of all, y'all done had a great fucking show so far. I don't know how hard you're drinking, but you ain't drinking hard enough. What's up, y'all? Uh, no, I'm telling you, we got celebrities in here. Mr. Whipple, they don't recognize you, sir. You know what I'm saying? They gonna just let the celebrities sit up front and don't tell you nothing about you. Thank you for coming out to our show. Yeah, we having a good time up here. Y'all having a good time? Yeah. All right, cool. My name is Aaron Foster. This is the, probably the more ghetto part of the show. We had a Mexican from Latin Kingville, you know what I'm saying? We have my black ass. I'm from the Wild Wild Hunnets. Hey. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They confused. It's the part of WGN that y'all all go, oh shit. <laughs> that part. You know, I'm not going down there. That's where I live. I live. 548 West, 125th place. Yeah, now y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where we go for the past shit. Yeah, this is the greatest fucking part of Chicago, right? I love my city. My part of the city is the greatest part that's ever been fucked up. <laughs> it is. I promise you it is the greatest part. And my story is about one of the greatest things ever on the south side of Chicago. Y'all love Mr. Beef. Mr. Beef is some bullshit past the Sears or the what Wells, uh, what Wilson Tower, whatever they call that shit now. It's just, in my life, it's the Sears Tower. Right. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Sears Tower, goddamn. I don't know who this Wilson dude is, but he. <laughs> anyway, if you go down the sh down south past the Sears Tower, you will get to the Great Island of Stony. <laughs> Stony Island is a street. It's just <laughs> y'all don't go down. You know what I'm saying? Boston, you should try to go down to Stony Island. Ask your tour guide to say, take me to Stony Island. Take care of Stony Island, 83rd Street. We got this place called Torrid Flavors. Torrid Flavors is a sandwich similar to Mr. Beef, but it's three times better. You know how y'all don't use no seasoning on y'all shit? <laughs> we use the best seasonings. You know what I'm talking about, boss. Yeah. You know, the Chicago guy, Mr. Whipple, you probably put salt on there. You'd be like, oh, it's so delicious, there's salt on there. We have what's called, yeah, that's a steak sweet right there. The steak sweet is ten times better than Mr. Beef's beef with whatever the fuck they put on it. You know what I mean? They say it's dipped. This is an eloquently dipped. You know, it's got cheese, it's got tomatoes, it's got a sweet sauce on it. And the thing about the Taurus flavor steak is that it's two types of people. One person is the person that likes it sweet like this. This is mine. I took a picture of my steak. It's sweet. It's sweet with meat under it, cheese, delectable, make your mouth water, all of that. I don't know what kind of date this is, but this is the, you go down Stony Island, you get you one of those. There are two types of people. People that like hot steak or people that like sweet steak. This story is about one of my friends who was out on a drunk night with me and she liked hot steak and didn't get it at the fucking tourist flavors. And you know what she did? Instead of just being like a regular person and she walks, gets her steak, we drive off, she comes back in and says, hey guys, you messed up my steak. I really would like you to make it over. You know what she did? 
she drove her car into the tourist lane. <laughs> this is some real Chicago shit right here. I swear to God, y'all might have saw this on the news. You saw this, Mr. Whipple? You probably did. You saw it. This girl drove her car right into the tourist lane. What's crazy is, is it's still open. See the lights are on. Motherfuckers are lined up back here. They not in the, they didn't, they were like, oh shit, you know what I mean? She gets out of her car. Yeah, the story's not over. I only got eight minutes now. So she gets out of her car and stand and tries to butt the line on the south side of Chicago. She almost got both of us killed. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, go to the back of the line, baby. You know what I mean? She gets out with her car still running and be sitting there eating my sweet steak in the That's how this goes, you know? She gets back in line to try to get her steak done right. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And what's even crazier about this Torres Flavors situation is they have a car sticking in their place, right? They did not close. The next day, still open. Because they, 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 put, they put an arrow around like, y'all gotta go behind the place now. You gotta get it out the side door. We're not closing. And still, they had a line of motherfuckers from 10 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean, to try to get these sweet steaks. Now, don't risk your life trying to get it, Mr. Whipple. Bring you a two or three of your black friends, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, I know you, you ain't been on TV in a little while. You might bring James Jefferson or somebody to get your ass in there. But wait till your black friend come, and then you can get you a steak. You know what I mean? This is not the craziest part of this story. They did not close. They did not close. This is a real story. You can Google it, whatever, in Chicago. If you're not from Chicago, Boston, you learn something tonight. They did not close. But what they did do is make hours. <laughs> they crash out. You know what I'm saying? They can, you can come in there and talk. Man, thank you. I appreciate them facts. You know what I mean? These people don't understand. They were like, we closed on Monday. <laughs> Monday they had to clean up. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was how they did it. Tuesday from 10 to 7, you can still come in a little early. Sunday they closed. You know, they this is a line. They stayed open longer than that. You know what I mean? They lying. Sunday they closed at 6. Sometimes, you know what I mean? But I, and it is well worth you going to see your, uh, going down there, because you know, as long as you bring your black friend. Hey, uh, Menard workers, y'all, uh, y'all got, got a lot of black people that work at Menard, so get three or four of them down at lunchtime, go down on the island and get y'all one of these things right here. And that's my story, y'all. I'm here in Boston. If y'all ain't learned one thing tonight, y'all learned this. It's two Chicago's. <laughs>